Yeah, we're here. This is the Broccoli Ain't Green Show with the world's greatest host, radio, internet, or television, Tube Sox Spam, and my co-host. I am Mr. Wonderful Will. We hope everyone is having a great day. Today, we just want to talk about some Different current stuff. events that's yeah. going on that's kind of got some controversial flavor to it. And the first one we want to talk about is, uh, I want to talk about... This is like we doing celebrity gossip or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, grown a, men, a little bit. Grown men doing celebrity gossip, man. Um, that's not a good look. just the, the current event that's going on. But one thing that's kind of disturbing to me is about uh, the sexual abuse allegation uh, about Michael Jackson. Yeah, man. That, 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 the only thing about that, man, they should have... They should have done stuff because these people are still alive. They were alive when Michael Jackson right. could have defended himself. He can't say anything. He can't refute any allegation that was said about him on that documentary. Yeah. And <clears throat> and my question, is, I don't not try to question whether this guy was telling the truth or not. My question is his timing. Yeah, yeah, because the overall... 20 years. Yeah, yeah, because the overall fact, it is weird, you know what I'm saying, that a grown... Thirty-something plus man is year old man is hanging out with uh, however old they were, you know. From most of them were probably about like what at least 10, 11, 12 years old. Right. And, yeah, but that's just weird there anyway. So you know, it probably is some that might have come out of that. But they should have gave him a chance to to uh, you know to, to say his part of the story because these kids, some of these ones now that are saying it, they were they were kids then, but they were grown. Before Michael Jackson died, and and previously they took up for him and said, you know, the stuff that they're saying now, That's they were, yeah, yeah, they were saying none of it happened, but now all of a sudden, it's changed, man. That's but the part that's what I don't I'm like, saying, man. You know, and one thing you have to understand what what you're doing to this family is particularly his mother. She's an elderly lady. She's probably her mid eighties, right about now, and I'm pretty sure as much. She's been stressing over her son. Mm -hmm. Now she's, you know, mourning his his passing. Getting through that now, you bringing this too on her now, and she doesn't need that. Yeah, and then they pulling stuff. I know they said um, the episode that Michael Jackson w was on. Um, that was the little kitty cartoon with Kenny. They killed Cartman um, South Park. Oh right. And they said they taking that out of the library. They they won't play that. Right. You know, when before it had been playing, but I just don't understand, you know, well, hey, I guess I do understand, but I, I got a feeling it's going to be a lawsuit against Michael Jackson's estate probably soon, too. I, I doubt that. But I know the you family know uh, suing HBO for like $200 million, I think. Well, no, I'm not talking about the family. I'm talking about the, uh, the accusers. They're probably going to try to sue his estate and get some cheddar. For what? He's not here to defend that. Yeah, but I got I, I bet they I mean, just to get it quiet and out of the news and get I Michael Jackson. Time. Yeah, but but even though, you know, a lot of these guys make way more money when they're dead. And if they're gonna you know, they're gonna go that R. Kelly route pulling his music and you know, Bill Cosby, they a lot of right. channels are not playing his stuff, so that that's gonna hurt his estate. Right. And yeah, that's another person I was, you know, just relating to this, you know, how um, the, uh, the accusers uh, against Bill Cosby, like I'm saying, I'm not disputing the, whether that happened or not. I just, I, when you wait this long to tell a story like that, tell a, you know, to accuse someone yeah, like that. Say it now. Don't, don't be I mean, you have years and years and years to do this. Now you feel liberated and that you feel you have enough courage to tell the truth. To me, to me, it just, you, you discredit with me. Is you know because you had all this time, even during the time with Bill Cosby, even during the early years, uh, early part of two thousand when he was uh, initially was accused of doing that. Mm. Y'all, a lot of these women could have came forth then. You should have been uh, had enough courage to come forward, but now, yeah, Bill, you wait till the part where he's damn near uh, blind and he's an old frail man now. Yeah. Well, now you feel like you now you want to attack him. Yeah, and you know you know who got that kicked off on um, Bill Cosby because you know b back in the day there were rumors about this stuff, but uh, you you know who kicked that off, don't you? No. When they started this, oh. uh, that comedian named Hannibal Burris. Oh really? He, yeah, yeah. He was in a concert one day and he started talking about about y'all didn't know uh, Bill Cosby. He's a he's a rapist. Oh, 
and this and that. And then that's after it all kicked off. And then it's been downhill for Bill Cosby since. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah right, right there, that guy right there. Right. You know, and then all, but it's just funny how all of a sudden he started blowing up. Because he'd been doing, I guess, writing comedy and doing stuff. But he was never the star. But as soon as, you know, he started this uh, Bill Cosby stuff, now he's in movies and everything. It's just funny how, how it just changed. And that's the, you think that's a coincidence? I think it's just I think it's no uh, it's a plot An agenda. It's yeah. a conspiracy. A C O N spiracy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he's blowing up. That guy Hannibal Burris is just blowing up now. All oh, right after he he uh, brought that issue up with uh, Bill Cosby. Right, yeah. man. I sound pretty good on the mic now when I when I talk this way. Oh, really? Yeah, I sound like I should be on Sirius Satellite. Sirius Satellite, when y'all uh, watch Sirius XM, go ahead. We'll, we're available. Uh, just pay us. I'll take uh, ten million and I'll give Wonderful Will. I'll, I'll probably give him about like five thousand a month. <laughs> you know I am the show, right? Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm digger. You holding me back, man. You holding me back. <laughs> <laughs> well, another. Another uh, attack on black on a black man. You know he's not a celebrity, just an ordinary, hardworking young man who, a homeowner, <clears throat> who just wants to take pride in his property and keep it nice and clean. Oh yeah, you talking about that colored boy in uh, that colored boy? He was in uh, Colorado or something. He was right. a student. just cleaning up his Clean yard, up. just just tidying up his property, you know, so he can you know look good for you know you know be doing he does doing his part. To keep his house maintained. But I agree with the officer too, though. Yeah. But you'll never uh, know what them colleges are doing in Colorado. Uh, apparently, he getting stopped for uh, <laughs> allegedly trespassing on his own property. Yeah, yeah he probably hmm. would. Like, man, how, how in the world is the, the, the good old pure 100%, uh, you know, the unadulterated officer supposed to know? <laughs> he sees a black man in Colorado. First, that was the first sign he's up to something. Right. So, in the words, uh, a, a white officer is supposed to just give a black man a pass in a yard in Colorado, right. man. He had to be stealing. Well, let me give you some education, education about how he was stealing trash. How you <laughs> doing that? First of all, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. When it comes to, let's look at it this categorized. His the purpose of stopping him would more likely fall on a reasonable suspicion, but. When you walking on somebody, see someone. You sound the mighty law enforcement. Oh, I just know my shit, man. Oh. I, I do. I read. <laughs> Not a read. Now I know. I know my rights. <laughs> but anyway, when you're looking at reasonable suspicion, that is basically you have a thought that somebody might be committing a crime. Okay, now you walk. You uh, uh, patrol officer go by, just driving through the neighborhood. See, you see someone picking up trash. That's not a reasonable suspicion. Somebody's committing a crime. Yeah, hmm. somebody just picking up trash. They're just picking up trash. Picking you up know, trash they'll be yeah. happy. The county ain't, you know, the county's people are not doing it. Just let them pick up trash. If you just got to be a little nosy, say, hey, do you live here? Yes, sir. This is my home. This is my address. Have a nice day. And that should have been the end of it. Yeah, but I know one hmm. thing, man. That officer is probably thinking, hmm. man, I didn't even know they allowed black people in uh, Colorado. So man, I, I guess that's what he was thinking. Now. Yeah. Now, the uh, department says it may take up to 90 days to investigate this matter. So, uh, that you know, officer. Why this is, well, I wonder why in the world it take that long to, to investigate that they 90 said days. Up, they said up to 90 days. Yeah. But, well, it, was, but it was recorded. Someone recorded the neighbor. I think the guy's yeah. neighbor recorded. And he was trying to tell the officer that he lived there. Yeah, but that seems that like. That should have been enough. That should have killed the whole thing yeah. right there. Say, so, okay, well, you got someone who can verify. It. Yeah, this guy lives here. And I bet, I bet if they went back and looked at that officer's cameras, he probably rolled down five, six streets, saw people in their yards cleaning stuff up. Didn't stop, not one of them. Right. <laughs> now, but he didn't have any, you know, none then, of that. No yeah, reasonable and then, he, then he tried to say he had a uh, weapon, and the guy told him that it, that it was, you know, you know, basically cleaning tool, it's whatever it was. Pick up, one of those, uh, when you picking up uh, litter. Picking litter up trash, pickup. yeah. But the officer still kept trying to say he had a weapon. And so he called. And he had been ID before. They said he had already showed him his uh, University of Colorado ID. And so his backup fellow officers are coming 
with the lights and sirens on, thinking that yeah, his, somebody got a weapon on that, their coworker is under distress, and they come up on the scene and just see he has one of those litter grabbers. Yeah. And why did the man pull his weapon out? Drama. And notice that the other officers didn't pull their gun out. Hmm. And the moral of this story mm. is if you're black and you're in Colorado, get out. Wow. I mean, damn, you're not safe. Well, first of all, you're not safe to uh, barbecue in the park. You're not safe to sell bottled water. You're not safe to babys- babysit kids of the other race. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, they need to go back and look at our old show um, when we did it. The, uh, oh, the 911 Avengers? Yeah, 911 Justice Avengers. Oh, the 911 Justice Avengers, yeah. yes. Okay. Yes. Go back. If you are listening now, Review that show because that right there, it, it, we we talk a lot about that because you got these these superheroes out here fighting justice for against black men particular. Hmm. Yeah, and there's been so many. Oh man, the one I don't know. This would probably take the cake about the the, the white lady he called with uh the man the black guy's male dog. I, I don't know. If, I guess it was his male dog jumped on her, her dog and started oh, humping. Yes, I yeah, heard that. she called she called the police on that and was I saying this. What she say it was not it's not appropriate or something she said. I'm like, those are animals, those are wild animals. No, did you hear the one about the what's his name? The Dallas Cowboys quarterback? What? No, I ain't about his dog. No, what did he do? I read an article about that. Apparently his dog got a loose and got into a, another fight with another dog. Mm. So this some uh, woman, uh, I guess some woman tried to break the dogs up and then his dog ended up attacking her. Well, yeah. And now he possibly, that dog, they probably threatened to euthanize his dog. Mm. And plus, he's going to be paying a very hefty fine yeah. about that. I think it's like a $100,000 fine. Yeah, white and, people and their dogs. And <laughs> and I was reading some of the comments of uh, people saying, you know, which I agree. You know, you see two dogs, especially particular a pit bull. When you trying to break up two dogs fighting, you know that that uh, what you call it, the adrenaline is going so strong that dog it just got that rage in. Yeah, and really, leash why are you dogs? trying to break up a dog? Both of them should have had yes, their dogs on leashes under control anyway. The only thing he probably get in trouble is because his dog <clears throat> was able to escape his property. So that's I'm pretty sure he's gonna pay a fine for that, get cited for that. But the lady tried to break up the dog fight, and and unfortunately, yeah, she got bitten. By the dog. Yeah, you, by his you dog. should know that something's going to happen if you're in there. Because some of those dogs, when they in, in attack mode, they just in attack mode, man. Just, yeah. I've seen videos where people hit them with shovels, right. with, with sticks. Even sometimes people have shot, shot dogs, and the dog will keep, keep going until, I guess, you know, the blood loss or whatever. Right. And they can't, and then they'll turn. But, like, a regular person, you, you can't stop a dog when, they, when they're fighting. Hmm. That's uh, what's the Dallas Cowboys uh, quarterback's name? Uh, what is yeah, name? Dak Prescott. Yeah, Prescott. Dak, Dak Prescott. Dak. Yeah. So now they have his dog. Luckily, he wasn't in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Stay yeah. out of Colorado. That dog probably been shot. Yeah. Yeah, but right now the dog is being held in animal control, and it's a possibility that his dog may be euthanized. Mm. Mm. You know that's kind of messed up because he owns two other dogs, but that's I think that's like one of his prized possession dogs. Yeah, that's how it was about my dog. Oh, to my Cujo, uh, Samson. He's Cujo. up in the crowd. You know, you know I say, see you at the crossroads. You mean me down? Oh, that's damn Cujo. Oh man, you talk about my dog. I bust you in the mouth. Pump. Yeah, right. He's scared of animals, man. He's I'm a animals. I'm a dog, man. He's a cat, man. Yeah, he had a cat, a little baby cat called Tootsis. <laughs> I'm a dog, man. <laughs> no. But that's what's going on the current event today. So we thank you all for listening in. And just always remember to subscribe and leave your yeah, comments, leave your comments on, on the bottom. Especially leave your comments on who you like the best. You know, either me or you like the bum. See who's yeah. better. Uh, see like we have me. a contest. Yeah, see who like, who's the best host. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm the greatest. Um, I don't know who told you that lie. But hey, it is what it is. Whatever you say, Pop. Yes, though. We ask, we thank you again for all you've done. And, and get back on the us. channel. Yeah, leave it on the channel. Leave comments, man. Yeah, we, we really That's need your, your honest input. You know, it can be whether it's negative or positive. We want that feedback. Yeah, don't jump on the bandwagon. You know, we don't take bandwagons. When we blow up, you wait. You know, don't, don't try to come in there like, oh, I was one of your first subscribers. Go ahead, get on now. So when we have that big party, 
at Caesar's Palace, you know, you might get to come. And we always remember loyal people. Man. So when we have our first big party, the first few, uh, the, say about the first hundred subscribers, we're going to invite you to come out to party with us. Yeah, so just remember that. Yeah. Subscribe, <clears throat> like, leave your comments. Leave your comments. Yeah, it's easy. It's simple. It doesn't cost a thing to get on there. It's if you watching this, if you watching this show right now, it's millions all around the country. We even have subscribers from China, and some of them can't even speak English. But if they can do it, you can do it. Just go ahead. You already, you obviously got YouTube. Just go ahead on, get on there, get on board. That's right. Yeah, get on board the Soul Train. Soul all right. Train. Okay. Well, you no, know, like to say, God bless you and have a great week. Spiritual vitamin. And always remember, He love you. God is love. He loves you. And love is God. Soul Train. And we love you. Ha, 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 ha.